Hello from Disney Springs on a very crowded Black Friday. Actually, it is the day after Thanksgiving, and we are at the Lime Garage, headed in to hopefully do the Christmas tree hunt they have here. But it looks quite busy, and we wanted to get dinner, but we will see. Come join us today as we enjoy Disney Springs. First things first, we are in Uniqlo right outside of the Lime Garage because we need to actually pick up the map situation that they have for this. It said map distribution was here, upstairs I believe here, so we will grab that and then we'll get started with the tree hunt. Alright, we have now just received our Disney Springs Christmas tree stroll for 2022. And if we open it up, we can actually see that there are the like locations and then the stickers that you can use to then put them on. And we will just pop that off. And then you can pretty much see, again, there's a bunch of trees here that you have some locations for. And then over here, they do actually show you some of the seasonal eats and treat. And then on the back here, we'll show you, there's actually some coupons. So it is worth picking this up. All right, so we are going to get started. And on the map, over by World of Disney, where my pinky is, that's where we're going to start because that's kind of the deepest area. And we're already at Uniqlo, which is kind of like towards that side. It looks like there's two, four, so like seven-ish trees over this direction. And then there's a lot more kind of the other direction from Uniqlo. So we're gonna head over towards basically like World of Disney, starting that direction. And then we'll uh, kind of work our way back and then over to the other side, like past Planet Hollywood. Now as we are heading over to our first tree location, I want to let you guys know that over here at Springs, it is insanely busy. I mean, there's like no walking room on the walk path here. So I'm going to try and get as much content as I can, but like I don't want to sit like vlogging as I'm trying to walk through crowds. So uh, I'll do the best I can, but we are heading over to the first one beyond World of Disney. Kind of over by like Earl of Sandwich is what it looks like on the map. Now over here actually in front of World of Disney, you can see a nice tree set up. And that looks pretty nice. They've got Maribel I can see. It looks like they have all of the Encanto characters. So <laughs> as... As I'm talking about the tree, that's the first tree we found. So, first tree here, I'm kind of an idiot. I totally forgot we were like looking for trees. I guess I didn't know what they looked like. I just saw the map and like whatever. So that's our first tree is the Encanto tree. <laughs> Whoops, uh, yeah, okay, I gotta get my head in the game. Start, I'm a little tired today, a little bit. Okay, a little bit, but all right, we got our first tree, Encanto tree, in front of World of Disney. <laughs> our first location, Encanto, in front of World of Disney. Now we will actually probably pass through World of Disney for the next one and go on the other side because that's where it looks like it's going to be. Look at how busy it is in here, but I do see a Black Friday deal. Select toys and plush items of World of Disney up to 40%. If we see anything worth noting, I will let you know, but we're pretty much just cutting through here at this point. Now as we're leaving, look at this lightsaber tree here. That is pretty wild. Very cool. Alright, back to outside to look for more Christmas trees. Looks like it would be over in this direction somewhere. I will let you know as soon as we find it. Is it raining? Or, or is it bubbles? I don't know. Something just hit me. I don't know if you can see behind me, um, the Girardelli line. I mean, it's like, it's like out, out of the building. It's wild. Um, very, very, very busy tonight at Springs. And just in general, the parks are like insane. Some of the other vloggers that I watch have been at some of the parks this week. And uh, at the times, I mean, you're looking at like two plus hours on a lot of big attractions. And I believe we have found another tree over there. And I think this is just a Mickey Mouse tree. Kind of, I see like, or Minnie Mouse? Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse? I didn't look at all the stickers, but I will tell you in just a second here. Let's see. Here is another tree. I can see like the Minnie Mouse ball on top and I'm seeing like the Minnie Mouse polka dots that they have. So I'm gonna guess this is Minnie Mouse. 
That will be my guess. So let's take a look. Is this Minnie Mouse? Is there a Minnie Mouse? It's Mickey and Minnie. It's Mickey and Minnie. Yeah, okay. and then just in case you want the signs. Ah, let me take a look. Oh, yes, they do have like the display of what it is right there. So you can't tell which one it is correct. So we will put that right in our location. Tree two, down. Anybody that's watched my HHN vlogs, behind me they're playing Blinding Lights here at Springs, a little cover band. I think we heard it the last time, actually when my parents were visiting. Brings back some memories. If you guys haven't yet, go check out those HHN vlogs. They were a ton of fun, a lot of action going on. Definitely miss HHN, but obviously do love the Christmas season. All right, right next to Once Upon a Toy, we are walking up to another tree here in which it looks to be kind of like the main tree is what I would call this, but I don't know what it is. Let's take a look here. It is a Once Upon a Toy tree. And I don't know if you guys can see that there, but it is just a very large, pretty standard Christmas tree. Look at that, if I, if I turn down the F tree, you guys can get like a glow on the light up there. The whole tree glows a little bit more, but we'll turn it up just a hair, so it's not glowing the same way. But yeah, here you go, another tree with a goose in front of it. And here we go, stickers on. Apparently there's a tree right next to us over this way. I'm going to have to keep my eyes peeled now. And it looks like we see another tree here. And across the lagoon is the stage. It's actually right there where they're playing all the music. And World of Disney is actually right there. But we do have another tree. And it looks like, it looks like almost like classic Mickey Minnie, almost like a runaway railway situation. But let's see exactly what we can find. Oh, I'm seeing the monorail. So it leads me to believe almost like maybe annual pass holder. I'm seeing annual pass holder magnets or something on there. Let's go see what it is. Let's come around the corner here. It is, all right, annual pass holder tree. So this is an annual pass holder tree here. Another one down. Time to put our sticker on. We are annual pass holder, so we connect a little bit more with this one, I guess. There you go. I do recognize, obviously, the magnet there. And now it looks like we've kind of cleared up this side now so we can start to head back towards World of Disney and then continue onward towards the rest of the trees here. And another one in front of World of Disney, and it's actually right next to the stage, which is right there, and then the Joffrey stand. There's another tree, so really packing them around the world of Disney here. And it looks like, it almost looks like a Hello Kitty design. Um, looks like Toy Story maybe is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing the alien, so I'm gonna guess Toy Story. Let's go look. And we are correct, it is Toy Story, the Toy Story tree here. There's not a lot of like Buzz or Woody in there, but I did see a few things. So I see the aliens and now I see the ball, but just a few small tidbits and there's a rocket over there. So um, yeah, Toy Story tree here. Now it's not a tree, but it is a nice Fantasmic Mickey over here, or Sorcerer Mickey. Definitely got to go see Fantasmic if you haven't. I do have a vlog that has the full show in it. If you guys are interested, do feel free to go check that out. But yes, very, very good show now that it has returned with a few new scenes added as well. But I am seeing another tree right around the corner. All right, and here we have the Nightmare Before Christmas tree. Lots of decorations in here pertaining to it. You can see you got the skulls all over. You've got like the little snake here. You've got some of the faces. Up top, it looks like it's zero. But just to confirm it, there it is. The Nightmare Before Christmas tree. So now I gotta put that sticker on. That should be right here. And then there should be another one right over there somewhere, but we'll get this one on. There you go. So we have one more here before we kind of take a little bit of a break as we head towards this middle section then. So I was actually walking towards the restaurant here. Uh, it's actually right over there. And I noticed as I looked back, the other trees, so here's the tree we just did. It's, it was like to the left of it, kind of. So um, 
Yeah, I don't know. I feel like the map isn't super accurate with positioning. The map seems but, definitely goofy. Yeah, I think yeah. the map is not Almost super like accurate. confusing. Yeah, that's okay though. Alright, I'm going to see, I'm guessing Haunted Mansion as I approach, but I will let you know. But I'm seeing some candlesticks, I'm seeing some gravestones, and it is a Haunted Mansion. Oh, wait, I'm turning it the wrong way. Can you guys see that right there? Kind of, maybe it's a little dark. But it is a Haunted Mansion tree here. You've got some of the tombstones and some of the just kind of prop looking things from the ride over there. So, another tree down. I don't even, no, I guess it, maybe this would be Haunted Mansion. That would be the Jack Skellington one or a Thunder for Christmas. But, no, oh, well, the they're, they're close. So we'll put that there. So we finished up this section here. A nice little trip trip tip for you guys is I'm getting I'm getting bubbles in my face a nice little tip for you is if you guys are coming during a busy time make your reservations way in advance way 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 in advance and the reason I say that is because even if you change your mind you can still cancel the reservations but get it on the books because if you don't there is a very good chance you do not get that reservation even if you're within like a month it feels like sometimes like as early as you can book a reservation, book it. I promise you, book that reservation. There have been restaurants I have not seen an opening for once since we've moved down in July. And it's just like, they're booked all the time, like nonstop. And when they do get an opening, if they do, because I, I haven't seen them, I'm guessing that they're gone within minutes. So book your reservations early, please. I don't want you to ruin a vacation because you didn't have reservations on the books. And here we go to this massive tree here. This is like the ones from the, the uh, monorail crawl that we were doing at the resorts. Very, very large tree. Massive, massive operation here. It looks like I'm just seeing this looks pretty, pretty casual. I don't know what I would call this. I'm going to say this is just like Christmas tree. That's the theme. It's Christmas tree. Um, I don't really know. Let me go see if I can find the sign, but I believe it's like just a generic Christmas tree because I don't see anything specific to Disney at all, actually. So I was kind of right because it says it's the town center tree. So nothing that really pertains, I guess, to Disney, but town center tree, another one down. Let's get the sticker on the board. Town center tree will be right there. I think this there's I feel like there's gonna be another one closer to the water here because we're pretty much by like almost like the exit ish or entrance right here. So I definitely feel like that's appropriate. The only one I think we messed up are uh, those two with Nightmare Before Christmas and Haunted Mansion. So, so we are walking by and I was like, oh look, it's the Disney Wish, and then all of a sudden it's a Disney cruise line tree. Um Disney, I don't know about this one. I don't know about this one. Uh, the ship, totally fine. I love the, the artwork on this that they did with the shrubbery, the lights and everything. Very cool. It's not a tree though. And I think it was just an excuse for them to advertise the Disney wish, which is fine. I don't, I don't really call it a tree, but that's okay. So anyway, on with the sticker, another one down. And right actually next to it, we were just right there. You can see the Disney Cruise Line lit up over there right next to it though. And across from Blaze is another tree. And I'm already seeing paw prints. I'm seeing what looks to be just all Lion King items and pieces here. And you get that South African vibe. And it does look like you have the Lion King tree here. So another tree down in the books. And there we go. Nice. A little fast forward, you guys haven't seen it, but it's been about an hour because we did end up grabbing some food over at Blaze Pizza, but we are continuing now onto the trail for the Christmas decorations, specifically the Christmas trees. And I believe there are some over this way towards Marimoto Asia and Planet Hollywood over in this direction. We are now getting into kind of the second half of the park, or not the park, but of Disney Springs now with some more trees. So hopefully we can find a few more here in just a minute. Well, over here at AMC Theater, I'm seeing one tree. I'm seeing two trees. I'm seeing three trees in a row. I think we're about to knock out 
a good number, and wowzers, a fourth tree out in the distance. One, two, three, four, a lot of trees here. AMC Theater and Orange Garage. Wow, all right, let's go take a look here at the first option that we have. Uh, Moana, this is Moana, hands down. I'm seeing the little figures there. I'm seeing her little pearl. I'm seeing the little coconut guys that are angry, which is what I said there. I don't see Moana in here, but this is definitely Moana tree, got it. There she is. Nicole is correcting me saying it's not a pearl, it's the eye of Tafiti. The hearts of Tahiti or Tahiti, I don't know. She doesn't actually know that one. So I've been corrected a little bit, one of those, but it's it's the thing that she's carrying and that they, they lose and they want back and they're all fighting over. All right, now as we circle around here, we do have, I'm seeing, it looks like Marvel is what I'm seeing initially. I see a Sony player, maybe a Guardians of the Galaxy tree based off of the mask looks like Star Lord, and then I'm seeing the cassette player. I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess Guardians of the Galaxy. Originally it was Marvel, but I'm saying Guardians. It is. All right, Guardians of the Galaxy. And here we go. To the next one. And I am apologizing for the loud music. This. I'm gonna say Coco right away. This is hands down Coco. I'm seeing. You have like the little hall there. You see Remember Me. The and then what? Lizard. Oh my gosh, she's hanging out like you see him, he's eating he's something. The grave. Yeah, he's on the gravestone. He's eating something. I don't know, he's talking to us. And just as I assumed, Coco Tree. Perfect. There is Coco. Ah, they're playing the Guardians music over here. Maybe that's why. <laughs> Guardians Tree, Guardians, Guardians music. Perfect. Coming up to the next tree here, I don't know what this is meant to be. My initial thoughts are just something basic. I almost thought the way that the balls were aligned that maybe they were just um, like maybe it was like Mickey years or something, but I'm gonna say, if I had to guess, I'm gonna say like a 50th anniversary or something, so I don't know. I'm gonna take a look. I mean, it's just, it's just balls or maybe like I could almost see like maybe they were trying to do something with Epcot but I don't think so either I'm, I'm going with something with 50th and that's gonna be my guess all right so it is the sphere tree nothing too exciting with that one so we're gonna go ahead and get that posted on there I mean I don't I don't know how are you supposed to guess that just a circle tree yeah I guess sometimes you overcomplicate things right it's like oh this could be something that's like no it's just it's the basic thing Anyway. I am struggling with these <laughs> Sphere tree we'll put right up here by the, no, by the orange garage right there. Yep. Perfect. Right. Now we are heading over towards the gigantic balloon, which we have not done yet. And maybe one day we will, I'm not too sure, but we do have another tree right here. And this is kind of near the Starbucks, right? Kind of kitty corner to it. Or Disney style, right across from it here. This would be the tree. I see some lighting going on up there. Okay, so I was super wrong, and it is Raya and the Last Dragon tree. I I don't know, I guess I just assumed it was Mulan, and I was super wrong. I thought somebody was, I've, I've never seen Mulan, I'm not gonna lie to you. Let's get the sticker on here, up front, by the water, boom. All right, three more down this area. And then we are done on this side, almost finished with our Christmas tree hunt. We are over here across now from Marvel and Star Wars, and we have another tree here. This one's a little tough for me. It's a little hard to see from here. I can't tell. I don't know what's on the back side at the top there. I mean, I'm guessing it's something to do with Marvel because we're here. Those claws, they look, give me a second here. Again, it's a little hard to see, and I'm thinking that's like maybe vibranium, but I think there's like, I don't know, I think. Yeah, I Okay. Do you see like the ledges Le here, the characters? Yes, okay. So it is Black Panther here. And then it's hard but to see, but there's like his fists all around. Yes, so that's what I was kind of like, I was, I thought I saw almost like claws for a second, and like, 
I don't know. It's it's a little weird. Um, this was a hard one. This was this one was hard, and I think because you can't get very close. But yes, Black Panther tree. We'll get this one now on the books here. On the books again. All on the books all day. We're on the books. On the books. On the books. I love you. <laughs> and right next to where we just were, I don't see a sign here, but I can already tell this is Star Wars. Through and through, I see a C-3PO on top. I'm gonna go around the other side, but I see a lightsaber right there. But I'm gonna guess, yeah, we can get that sticker on. A little Yoda sticker there. And I will go check the sign just to double check, but yeah, this seems like Star Wars. And I know it's hard to see on the camera because the way that the light is, but right there, Star Wars tree. Even going to lie to you guys, I didn't even know they had a smokehouse here, a barbecue joint. And it's over here by House of Blues and Cirque du Soleil. But I have found the last tree. This looks a little Mardi Gras-y originally, which makes me think of Princess and the Frog. And I'm going to just guess that right off the bat. I see a little frog there. Probably hard for you guys to see, but he's right in the center there. I'm seeing just a lot of beads and kind of that whole Mardi Gras theme. This has got to be Princess and the Frog. Let's go around the corner just to confirm. And that is confirmed to be the Princess and the Frog tree right over here across from City Works. So we'll go ahead and get that sticker put onto the map. The final one all the way at the end here. You can see this is the Cirque du Soleil tent. And there it is. So we've done a pretty good job getting this all done, which means all we have is the two remaining trees here, which we'll grab in just a second, but we are heading now all the way back towards the Lime Garage. Just gonna be a little bit of a trek, but tag along with us here. We should be there in just a second. There has been some work going on as we are heading back this direction. Again, this is by the Salted Straw that's right behind here the AMC Theater. So I think this is supposed to be coming next year, maybe spring of next year. So spring at Springs, you should be seeing, oh, summer, oh wait, Summer House on the Lake. Yeah, opening in 2023, should be a new restaurant. I don't know exactly what it is, but here you go. We'll keep you updated on that sometime next year. Also, we are walking by the Salt and Spoon and I know we are doing a treat or a uh, Christmas tree thing here, but this gingerbread cookie dough looks too good to pass up. So I am going to go and stop in there. Actually, I like a lot of these flavors, to be honest. All right, we are all done with our salt and straw ice cream. Again, I cannot express enough how good their ice cream is. And I think it is hands down one of the best ice creams, like I said, I've ever had. So definitely, if you guys are at Springs, pick it up. It's also new. It just opened on April 20th of this year, 2022. So it's really new. Great flavors, great fun, delicious ice cream. Again, a little pricey. I'm not going to lie to you about that. It is a little pricey compared to other ice cream around here, but at least like you're paying a lot of money and getting a good quality ice cream, something that you don't get from a lot of places around here. Anyway, okay, last two trees here headed there. I think we are almost to the next one. Should be just right around this corner. Now, as we are heading around the corner here, just so you guys are aware, the Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar here has turned into the Holiday Bar and they have a lot of holiday treats here. We plan on coming here and picking up, I believe they do a hot cocoa flight of sorts. So definitely something to check out if you guys are interested uh, for just kind of like specialty themed alcoholic drinks. We are approaching one here in what again I call Retail Row. Pretty well themed in this little section here. A blue and white one with a sign up top. Almost reminds me of Test Track a little bit. Let us see if we can gather some images here before we take a look. And uh, let's see. The Muppets is what I'm seeing. So I'm gonna guess, oh, Disney Plus is the top. This is a Disney Plus tree. It's gotta be. Oh yeah, Home Alone, etc. Season streaming Disney Plus. Is there a tree or the up oh, around the corner? Let's see, is this just the Disney Plus tree? It is just the Disney Plus tree. Kind of a little a little eh for me, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and get that sticker put on. On to the last tree, which should be just on the oh, okay, just kidding, it's literally right here. All one take, 
One take, one take. Here we go, into the final tree. Coming around the corner here, we do have, all right, I'm seeing some classics. I'm seeing, I'm seeing an ice skating shoe of sorts. I'm seeing carrots. If it was Disney themed, I would almost say Frozen. But I'm seeing nothing else pertaining to Frozen, which makes me think it's just classic, like, cold winter. But I guess if I had to make a guess, I guess I would say Frozen. And it was a Frozen tree. I'm not totally, okay. I don't know, I'm not seeing like any of the characters in here. I was just, again, I was using some of the context clues, it being Disney, being, you know, kind of this like ice kind of theme. You do have like just a normal reindeer, so um, I don't know. I, I, I guess I get a little bit of Frozen, but either way, this is going to be our last sticker here on our map. And we will get a nice visual now of the entire thing here from left to right, start to finish, up, down, center. We have officially finished the Christmas tree stroll here at Disney Springs. Again, this is a free thing that you can do. So we're going to go turn this in now and you actually get a little prize. I don't know what the prize is quite yet. It doesn't say on here, I don't think. Once you ask, we bring it to a special surprise. So uh, hopefully it's something fun, but considering it's free, I'm gonna assume it's nothing too crazy because they're obviously not gonna be spending too much money. But let's go get this turned in and checked out. And I think you could probably just obviously keep this for the coupons. All right, we are coming back to where it all started today, back to Uniqlo to see if we can find the upstairs people to give us our prize. However, I'm a little nervous because it is after 11 and Springs closes at 11 for the most part. So there's a chance nobody's here and we have to come back. And uh, that would be a real bummer. So hopefully I can get you guys the solution. Oh, uh oh, see. Okay, so maybe we have 15 minutes, unless they leave before then. All right, we're going upstairs. We'll see if we get it. Just in case you guys want to know, I don't know if I actually pointed this out. We are upstairs in the back corner here, and there is a booth that you can pick up then your prize from. Good. We finished. Sure. I think we flip-flopped um, those two potentially. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I think the map didn't totally match, <laughs> but... Yeah, it works. Yeah. yeah. Everything else is good. Woo. Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. And then we can Appreciate. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. All right. And here you go. This is the prize. So it is a Disney Springs Christmas Tree Stroll 2022 pin. Oh, and I'm just kicking right across the floor. Yikes. Whoops. <laughs> the logo on everything. Oh, yeah. So it's literally just that. Sponsored by Advent Health. Nice. All right, everybody. We are now finished with our Christmas tree hunt. You did see the fun little prize that we got. Again, this is a free thing you can do over here at Disney Springs. There are some paid opportunities over at Epcot to do something similar. Obviously, a little bit of a more grand scale. However, that's going to pretty much wrap us up here for the night. We did have a good time. And again, if you did enjoy today's video, I'd appreciate it if you gave it a like. Thanks for joining us today, and we will see you in the next one. Take care.